Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gracie, and if you're new here, I used to do YouTube videos about like two years ago. So I've always wanted to do YouTube. Now I gotta do it, you know? And I did it for a while. I did it for like six months and I really enjoyed it. Um, but then I got really anxious. And right now I'm in a transitional period of my life. People are fluctuating in and out of my life right now and it's really hard. <laughs> woke up and I was like dang I would love to vlog but I don't have anything to do today and my life is so boring right now I just have a little retail job I'm not in school I'm waiting for grad school I'm like it wasn't it just wasn't the right time I was in the right mood and I was like when am I ever gonna be in the right mood probably never I get in my own head and so I was like let me vlog today. I don't have a lot of time left in the States. I'm about to move to Italy. And I know I'm gonna look back at this period and reminisce and be excited that I was, you know, 22, 23, living in an apartment by myself and in a big city. Life is simple right now and it's okay. It's okay for life to be simple. And I need to start getting my mind in preparation for something new. I'm gonna start off strong. I'm gonna start a YouTube channel again <laughs> for probably the fifth time. I'm gonna vlog because I don't know what else to do. I have no idea what to make that would be productive to society because <laughs> everything's been made at this point. So I feel like, what's the point? I have to be like, no, my world, my life is important and it's interesting. And I have to, if I want it, if I want it to be something special, I have to take risks. And my mental health has been struggling a lot and I've been journaling doom thinking spiraling every day it was starting to feel like groundhog's day to me and i can't live like that i need to start taking initiative so today i'm gonna vlog <laughs> i plan on going to sephora grabbing some new skincare from the one and only drunk elephant i did intern for them so i have like little merch and i Received like a huge PR package, like huge. I'll insert it right here. I never thought that they would give me that much product. Oh my God, it was crazy. And I love everything. I love beauty, I love all of that. But there's so many good YouTubers out there like Angelica Miklavist and Nora Mae Beauty, Kelly Gooch, Samantha March, Heather Austin, that's another one. Like, there's so many good creators out there that I'm unsure if there's something that I can contribute that they haven't. And I know makeup and I know it really well and I'm, I'm good at it, you know? It's what I get the most compliments on. So I just have to accept myself and realize my worth. I love you across all of my content, all of my life, all of my relationships. I'm accepting my worth. It's gonna be an interesting time period of my life and I know I'm gonna look back on it and wish that I did vlog it because I do wish I did vlog college more. I have like one vlog that I watch all the time. That was a fun day and I should have vlogged a lot more fun days. I'm going to do my makeup. I think I might do a voiceover. All right, starting off strong, I'm using the Hourglass Finish Concealer in Cotton, the Alamar in Kanto and Rena del Caribe palettes, as well as the Odin's Eye Alva 1 or 2, I think it's Alva 1 palette, and it is so pretty, love the shades. And then the Rare Beauty Eyeliner, which is my favorite eyeliner, I've bought probably 10 of them already since 2020, because I love it so much, and everyone in my life has started using that eyeliner, as well as... The mascara, oh my god, 
cannot rave about the mascara enough. So good. Amazing. I mean, I just can't ask for anything better. It doesn't overpower my lower lashes. It it gives a lot of, like, volume to my upper lashes. I mean, whenever I wear it, I can barely, like, wear my glasses without <laughs> them touching the lenses, which is crazy. It just makes my lashes so long. Um, but very, very natural. I get asked if they're, if I'm wearing mascara or they're just my eyelashes, but yes, so beautiful, so fun, so fresh, love it. And then this is really embarrassing, obsession. 90 Day Fiance the other way. I know, I know, I know what you're thinking, I know what you're thinking. It's so good, it's so good this season. Then this is the Rare Beauty bronzer stick i can't remember what shade it is and then the blush is in grace because that is my name and now i'm just blending out that rare beauty blush and it's so pretty i love the shade i feel like it matches my undertones really well uh especially like the color the natural color of my lip i feel like it looks very natural with my complexion which i'm surprised because it is a deeper blush I got it in a sample, um, and of course I wanted to get it because of my name, but since I tried the sample, I was like, wow, this is beautiful. Let me get the full size, and honestly, like, I really, it can be a lot. It can be a lot, a lot, and that's just how the blushes are, but if you use a little bit of amount, they're beautiful. Again, with the Vanish Concealer from Hourglass, I'm kind of using it to help blend in that blush because I didn't put on foundation underneath. That's just a little hack for me if you have too deep of a blush. Then I'm just blending out with a brush. Uh, I think it's a Moda brush. And just kind of using concealer as foundation. I really didn't want like too heavy of a look. And that concealer is super full coverage anyway. So, and then I don't really... I just started to not put foundation where I'm going to put those cream products because like it's already going to have the coverage right I don't know um and then I'm blending it out with a eco tools beauty blender as well as using the highlighter from rare beauty so pretty I'm using the number seven press powder as well as the rare beauty eyebrow and dark brown and then the full coverage, full fantasy palette. I just mixed all the highlighters and basically all the blushes. Yeah, I'm just putting on the Light Slacker Lip Balm, Jelly Balm in Das Expensive. And it's gorgeous and I love it. And that's my everyday look. So your girl just got out of therapy. I think I'm going to go ahead and change. Go to Sephora and grab some skincare and then go to target and then possibly go to dance class tonight so we'll see all right so i am back from sephora i got like a hundred dollars more than i really wanted to <laughs> i got a little lip gloss happy but who is surprised not me no one, no one is surprised. But a lot of people joke, like, I have never seen someone go through that much lip gloss in their life. Like, I, I have gone through a lot of lip gloss since I was, like, 12 years old. I've been obsessed with lip gloss, and I always have it in my pocket. Always brought it to school, always had it in my backpack, always reapplying it, always running out. People were like, oh, she has a lot of lip glosses, but she uses them i use them up anyways that's my justification so i got this is a little haul which i did not expect to do i got the b hydra intensive hydration serum from drug elephant because ran out like a couple months ago and it's always out of stock so i just grabbed it while it was in stock i also got the f-bomb hydrolyte water facial and this is for mixing into my moisturizer because my moisturizer is not doing enough for me right now and that's also why i got the wonder wild miracle butter by junk elephant it's great fuck aquaphor just go ahead and invest in this it's just so much better for your skin and it actually does something it penetrates the skin and it makes it hydrating which 
Aquaphor doesn't do, it lays on top of the skin. So it's good to like hold in moisture, but it doesn't create moisture. I'm not gonna buy the jelly cleanser from Drug Elephant because that's way too expensive. But I have heard good things about the Fenty Skin uh, Total Cleanser, Remove It All Cleanser. And I think I heard it from a Haley O recommendation that it was good but it was just too expensive for what it was. But the thing is, I needed a cleanser, so I've, I've always been curious about Fenty Skin. We'll see if it's good or not. I scoured the entire store for a freaking facial mist. I don't know what those preppies are doing on TikTok, but all of them are sold out and it's making me mad. It's the Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. My skin is so dry right now, like so dry. And this was the only skincare one I could find. Like I thought about getting the Milk Hydra Grip one, but it the way it dried on my skin, it was way too hard. The Selena Gomez one, the Rare Beauty 4-in-1 Priming Mist, that is sold out. And it was the most hydrating in the store. There was another one from Ilya, but it was so small. And th that's my... Also, my uh, complaint about this one, this is 2.53 fluid ounces, and my tar uh, Tower 28 is like a solid 3.4 or something like that, and it was sold out. So, very sad day, um, but I really needed one because I'm running out of my Tower 28 one, so let's see. So the one thing about Glow Recipe is that it would break me out, but now I'm on Accutane, so we'll see if it still does it. It looks pretty. I have been dying to try these soft pinch tinted lip oils from Rare Beauty. This is an honesty. It's sold out everywhere. Why? <laughs> and this was the only shade in stock. and. I love this shade. I was looking at it anyway. So let's see how. This is like way too much product on there. That's like way watery. Way more watery than I expected. That was not the texture I was expecting at all. It's kind of minty. Is it meant to be minty? Menthol proxy diol. So it is minty, if that is what I think it is. But it's pretty. I like it. Probably gonna carry this with me today. And then I have this in 32N, but it was it's way too dark for me right now. I'm really pale. Texas is like 104 right now, and Girl, I can't do that right now. I'm sorry. I can't do 104 degree weather for 40 days straight. I just stay inside because I'm not trying to get burned every day. I got this Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 20 Sunscreen. This is in 20W. It, when I blended it on my hand, like it turned into nothing. So. That is what I'm looking for because I need a foundation for work. I have more. Are we surprised? No one is surprised. Got a little lip gloss happy. I have gone through an entire one of these. This is the Ilya Lip Wrap Reviving Balm. She's really cute. Tiny as hell. Very small. But this really does well uh, in healing the corners of my mouth because whenever I wake up in the morning and I like yawn the corners of my mouth end up like blistering and cracking and then I can't heal it so I really like carrying a lip balm with me because well lip gloss keeps it you know hydrated but it doesn't always penetrate the lips especially if it's just a lip like color product I kind of wanted a lip balm to carry with me if someone is watching and I feel really awkward but it's okay the Glossier Birthday Balm.com. I have like this much left in my, the one that I'm using right now. And I want to try the new ones because one, they're a vegan formula. 
and two, uh, they have this applicator. It's gonna be helpful for work because I don't wanna like, cause I'm touching jewelry all day. I don't wanna like put my hands on my mouth when I'm trying to reapply. It's just not practical for me. Another repurchase is this Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. And it is in the shade Vanilla Beige Tree. It's my second one that I've used. Up. I used that. I used one up, or I lost it. But I like used it up before I lost it for sure. That is the haul. Uh, way too freaking much. I did not need that much. Do I regret it? No. Now I'm gonna go study at a coffee shop, teaching, reteaching myself Italian. I have all the textbooks from like college, so I'm just gonna go through all the units again. It's coming back to me. It's just I don't use it in my everyday life that much. So. Just finished studying. I am pretty proud of it. I forgot to film it while I was in there, but today I studied colors and I went through and I wrote all the colors in Italian and then took all the names of my highlighters and wrote it in Italian and then, and of course I color coded it. I also did school subjects. So I got this from Michaels. I prefer using sketchbooks for studying. I like being able to do what I want to do. It's just how my brain works, you know? I'm gonna put on the Glossier Balm because you can see right there. I'm starting to get a little chapped. It is different. It is different from the original. It's a little bit more slick. Now, I don't know if that's the applicator. Whenever it comes out of the tube, um, the original one, it's a little bit uh, harder and you have to like warm it up in your on your finger, on your lips, or whatever. That one's a little bit more emollient. Tastes good. I think the original tastes better. I'm probably gonna go home. Maybe we'll go to Target for fun. We'll see. I mean, I'm already blowing a lot of money today, so might as well. I'm home. I'm not hungry yet, but I wanna take off my makeup, so I'm probably gonna shower. I just wanna like organize everything and make sure that I'm setting myself up for success for the week. Like, I'm on a different schedule than I'm used to. Usually, I, like, clean on the weekends, but now because of my job, I end up having to clean during the week. So, I need to change my habit around that. Think of the week as the weekend, I guess. I'm kind of just chilling for the night. I might do my nails, because I'm... Oh, I'm probably going to take a pic of this mani. It's Gemini from Light Slacker. And I really like it, and it goes with my hoodie that I was wearing earlier. It's just like, it's a lot. If I do make dinner, I'll film it for sure. Show you my setup for nails. So I have this Zodiac background. It's a blush pink. And then I have this more neutral white with like green leaves. It's really pretty, and I like the texture of it. And these are for taking pics, so I wanted to have it for whenever I have like a, a mani that looks good with this and then a more neutral background that's different than white. I mean, white is pretty, but I just wanted something different and unique. This is a lot like my old background, except it was black, and I wanted to find a black version, but I thought this was cute and blush, so I went ahead and got it, and then... I got that for more neutral colors. I put on some nail oil to help it look a little shiny. Look at it in the sun, isn't that pretty? Very pretty. It's a beautiful color. It looks great in the sun. Wow, so pretty. Very, very pretty. I usually just hold it like that and I'll take a pic. So I'll just like position my fingers until I think they look more natural, which is like, nearly impossible so i'll take a pick and then i usually go vertically for this mani i chose this background because it's the zodiac collection this is called gemini so it kind of goes with the, the background and then i'll go in lightroom because like right now it's very cool toned on the video so i usually go in lightroom and i edit it to where it looks true to color 
But yeah, that's my mini background. Time for my skincare routine. So I have, I'm like automatically about to put it on. Uh, the Glossier Birthday Balm.com and the original packaging. I'd take it on my finger and then I would do this. And really get to around them, my corners in my mouth. So I wanna make sure I can heal it. Probably won't be healed for another form, four months to be honest <laughs> because I'm not done with Accutane yet. And I'm ready to be. I'm really exhausted. I have also the Hangover Pillow Balm Treatment by Too Faced that I put on top. Just as another layer of hydration. I tried and true. If you've been here before, when have I not talked about this? Of course, I used to intern for Drunk Elephant, but I have bought this product since I was 17 currently 22 if you're curious. So I have my little thing. I didn't know until I worked there that you could actually mix on there. So I'm gonna mix the Virgin Marilla oil. They did send this to me but in the package that they gave me, but I have bought like five before and I will continue to buy them. Whenever they gave it to me, I was like, cause it's like a $70 facial oil. <laughs> I feel like a preppy. And do y'all know what preppies are? They're, it's just like this genre on TikTok of like 12 year olds that do skincare routines with Drunk Elephant and Bubble. And it's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. So I'm gonna use the F Balm and I'm gonna have like one pump of this because it is expensive. So I have that. My skin is intensely dry right now. I'm gonna put on the, the butter balm. Okay, nails match. Squeeze a little bit of that. Just like a little bit. I like to mix it all together in my fingers because it's a little bit warmer. It's just a lot of different consistencies and it's just easier for me to mix it than my fingers and on the thing. It feels amazing. And then I put it on my neck. I feel like I drank like five gallons of water. I just like, I know it's expensive, but I just love drunk elephant. <laughs> and like, obviously I interned for them, but like, there's a reason why. I just love it so much. And I am almost out of this bud <laughs> and that's why I bought so many lip products today that's my current skincare routine my skincare has always been solely drunk elephant just because unless I got it in a boxy charm but anytime I bought skincare for myself it was always drunk elephant my skincare routine has not changed in like a year I honestly I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm tired so I'm gonna let myself be tired and if I end up doing something else, I'll let y'all know. All right, I am going to Target because I want to meal prep for this weekend. I got the Uncrustables because I like those on my break. I got them at Whole Foods, but I didn't like it. So I got the Starbucks non-dairy uh, almond milk and oat milk creamer, the pumpkin spice latte version because I cooked salmon the other night and it smelled awful, so I decided to get that. So Morningstar bacon veggie strips. I know. But every time I cook them, everyone says they smell so good. And they think it's real bacon. And for me, who hasn't had bacon in years, it, it does the trick, okay? <laughs> Let me have this one, okay? Same with these. They're so good. I love these, especially with some uh, Chick-fil-A sauce. They're so good. I got some containers because I want a meal prep for this weekend. I also got some Nespresso pods because I ran out. This one is so good. 
This one's my favorite. Colombian coffee across the board is my favorite, but this for an espresso is so good. On my breaks, I've been bad and I've been buying coffee. So I decided to get some pre-made coffee because I can't be doing $7 coffee every day. I got these because they didn't have the boxes for the Olipops. I love the strawberry vanilla. But this, I tried it after, I believe, Kathleen Mice recommended it. And oh my god, it's so good. I am so cold right now. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm freezing. Um, anyways, this is my nail color. It's Eat My Bubbles by Life Tracker. Lay's Donut Nails, which I usually am not really into, but I wanted to wear something shiny and neutral. So this is what I came up with. <laughs> Very different from the nails I had before. I'm glad that I nail prepped. I needed to do that. Thank y'all for joining my mundane vlog. <laughs> Um, it put me in a good mood. It really did. I think it's what I needed to do for myself to kind of reframe my life right now. Um, I feel kind of alone, you know, and I did everything today by myself. I had a great time. I had a great time with myself. I mean, I love getting ready. I love going shopping. I love studying. I love going grocery shopping, I liked cooking. I wanted to go to a dance class, but there was only hip hop and your girl can't do hip hop. I would say today was really productive. Also, I watched uh, Simsy's After Dark stream. So good, I love all of the ones that she has with Steven. They're so funny and they're playing Fall Guys. So I'm gonna continue watching that. I'm gonna go to bed and chill out and I'll see y'all in my next vlog, hopefully. I make one. <laughs> That's today's vlog. Thank you for watching and have a great one. Bye.